This is the den of a rare carnivore. One that I've always wanted to film. But I failed many times. But this time around, everything seems to have fallen into the right place. Now this is yet another promising sign of the presence of striped hyena in this habitat. With signs as promising as these, I set up my hide. And I film a behavior not known to science. This is unbelievable. A hyena sharing its den with an Indian desert cat. To find a striped hyena, Brutus and I travel to a unique mountain range in Tharparkar Desert. Now this place always surprises me with its beauty and diversity. Just look at this, the vegetation and the granite mountains in the middle of a desert. This is truly unbelievable. Last time I was here, I did an episode on long-billed vultures a critically endangered vulture species. This time, it is even more exciting. I've heard a lot about the presence of striped hyena here in Nagar Parker. As a filmmaker, I've always wanted to film them, but they are not easy subjects to film because they are crepuscular, which means that they are active during dawn, dusk, and during the night. As a filmmaker, you have that narrow window of opportunity during the sunset and the sunrise to film them. But I've been thinking about it a lot, and I think I have a solution. For that, I need to find Wahid. The problem is that a herder like Wahid is always on the move. But luckily, I find goats. It is a good sign. With livestock like this, there's always dung around. And with dung comes dung beetles. Now, look at this. This is a dung beetle with a head to the ground and rear in the air. He's taking this dung ball to a perfect location where he is going to bury it. These are powerful beetles and they can actually push up to 10 times their body weight, which is fascinating. But not all dung beetles are rollers, these ones are. 90% of the dung beetles actually dig a burrow underneath a dung pad. Let's follow this. Now you see, this is the sandy bit and he's probably, he's probably going to bring it here somewhere where there's loose sand and he is going to start digging a burrow. The usual routine is that the female will lay her egg and this dung ball will become a brood ball. The ball is then sealed with a special mix of saliva, dung and her own feces. One may question this lifestyle but dung beetles are robust recyclers. But even more important, they contribute a lot to our ecosystems. By getting rid of the dung, they help control pest species like flies. After finding the goats and dung beetles, it was just a matter of time before I find Wahid. Bye, John! What किधर जा रहे हो मैं ढूंढ ढूंढ के यार तुम्हें पागल हो गया हूं आपका नाम मोहित है हां हां क्या हाल है यार ठीक है ये बकरियां सारी आपका है कितना टाइम हो गया यहां पे 25 साल हो गए मैं कभी गए नहीं कहीं कराची इधर उधर क्यों इलाका इस बहुत प्रेस लगता है इट इज ट्रूली अ ब्यूटीफुल प्लेस 
I ask Wahid if he has seen the hyena. Karunjar ke paas. Aapne kab dekha? Pasu dekha. Kitna? Ek, do, do. Do. Kis time dekha? Saat baje. Jara khota kaise? Jara khota hai. Khota ek saat hai. Kitne mein to farak hai diye. Kya farak hota hai? Parent farak hoti. Mhm. वाला ने फर्क पड़ी है अच्छा छोटे वाला छोटे का छोटे बड़े अच्छा छोटे का बात है छोटा है दें फिर इसका तो बड़े होते हैं अगला पैर बड़ा होता है पिछला टाइम अगला और पीछे पीछे ये तरह का छोटा सा होता है हम्म तो अभी मैंने देखना है मैं आया जरख के पीछे हूँ चलो देखते साथ कहाँ से चलेंगे इधर इ how much time will you take here? Yes, yes. And what time will you take here? 7 o'clock. 7 o'clock. Wahid is a conventional herder. He doesn't do anything except herding and is dependent on his livestock for his nutrition and livelihood. He leads a very simple life. The prospects of finding a hyena is exciting for me as a wildlife filmmaker, but I'm sure Wahid doesn't feel the same. जरा कैसा लगता है आपको? बुरे लगते हैं। क्यों? जरा तो बकरे मारते हैं। अच्छा। तो फिर क्या करते हो जब जरा उसको मारता है तो? जरा मारते हैं, जरा पीछे लगते हैं, जरा भाग जाएगी। भगाते हो? भगाते हैं। मारते नहीं हो उसको? मारने नहीं देती There's clearly a conflict between this community and the hyenas because the people here genuinely believe their livestock is predated by striped hyenas. Striped hyenas rarely attack livestock. Other predators including feral dogs might be the real culprits. The hyenas are tolerated because the Sindh Wildlife Department is keeping an eye on them. A hyena has been living here for quite some time and Wahid knows the location of its den. That information is very important from a filming perspective if you want to see an animal that spends most of its time looking for food in the dark. In that narrow window during dawn and dusk, they're most likely to be found close to the den. And that's when I'll have enough light to film them. And then, Wahid shows me something I've been wanting to see. Now this is yet another promising sign of the presence of striped hyena in this habitat. These are fresh pug marks, most probably from last night. And there are two. The front one is larger and the hind one is smaller. This is very exciting. I never ever thought that I'd be following the trail of a striped hyena. But today, I'm, ex I'm doing exactly that. Uh, I think we are close. The signs are very promising and we'll, we'll definitely get something. I'm really, really hopeful. I can actually see the hyena's den, which according to Wahid is an active one. Wahid himself, he has seen the hyenas a couple of days ago. The, this is the trail that the, the hyena use to travel in the night time. It has gone this way. There are no signs of it, of coming back to the den, but most probably it has come the other way around and then it has gone into the den. Having watched loads of documentaries on hyenas as a child, I've always been completely obsessed with these animals. Most documentaries about them are from the savannas of Africa on spotted hyenas. At that time, I had no clue that one day I'd be after their cousins in a desert here in Pakistan. Right underneath the den is this a huge bone. Hyenas have a very powerful bite force up to 1100 psi, which is greater even than that of tigers. To compare it to us humans, we only have a 
bite force of 160 psi. With that sort of a bite force, hyenas are able to crush hooves, horns, and even bones. And that is how hyenas have been able to eke out a living in such a hostile habitat. Time is running out for me. I need to find a suitable place to set up my hide. Now this is a perfect hill to set up my hide. The den is situated at a perfect distance. It's going to give me the close shots that I'm after. I don't want to set up the hide right on the ridge line because hyenas have a very good night vision. They also have superb sense of smell and also acute hearing because of their long ears. So I have to be really, really careful here. I was going to set up my hide right there in the tree, but we just saw a saw-scaled viper, so probably that's not a very good idea. So I'm going to use that tree as a cover and set up my hide behind that. And hopefully the hyena is not going to notice me. Wide here, uh, he's my instructor. I mean, there's not a lot of information out there on striped hyenas and they are one of the least studied species of hyenas. So, but these guys have the first hand knowledge of uh, these hyenas because they are living in their habitat and they usually come in contact with them. Mm, it's very interesting what he has to say. Um, and any, any information that I could get out of him is critical for me as a filmmaker. Now tell me where is the house? This is the house. This is the house. Where will it come from? This is the house. From this side? Yes. And then after that? This is the house. This is the house. This is the house. Yes. This is the house. Yes. This is the house. This is the house. This is the house. किस तरफ जाएगा इस तरफ जाएगा ऊपर से जाएगा ऊपर भी जाएगा इधर भी People here have a very interesting myth about the Indian desert cat and striped hyenas. According to the myth, a desert cat and striped hyena work in kind of a partnership, and that the presence of the cat is a telltale sign of the hyena's arrival. Well, that sounds a bit far-fetched, but let's see. Lo and behold, there appears an Indian desert cat. So this is something just unbelievable. I was not expecting an, a cat in a hyena's den. <sighs> wow. Wow. She's moving. The cat is moving. And she's pretty relaxed. The cat is pretty relaxed. It definitely doesn't have any idea of our presence here. But, but I hope that it knows that this is... This is... It sounded like a hyena's call. Several things happen at once here. We are listening to the hyena and at the same time, she cat shows us clearly he is definitely a male. But is it really all his? Look 
get that unbelievable unbelievable this is just crazy this is simply crazy wow wow look at that this is unbelievable a desert cat and then I know from the same den how could this be this is I don't know what sort of a partnership that is this, I mean, there's something that she's looking at, and she's a bit nervous. I don't know why. This is closed to darkness now, but my Sony A7 III is able to film in this darkness, which is amazing. The camera reveals that this den is not home to one hyena. Here we have one female in this group. She's the larger one. And you can tell she's been nursing. The other one is most likely a male. And there are them those cute little cubs. It may be a bit naive, but one of my goals as a wildlife filmmaker in Pakistan is to help reduce human wildlife conflict. I do get a sense of excitement from Wahid, and he seems genuinely pleased to see these wild animals. This encounter has left me with more questions than answers. Striped hyenas have been known to share their dens with grey wolves in areas outside Pakistan. But aside from the local legend here in Thar Parker and my own two eyes and camera, there are no records of den sharing with the Indian desert cat. I do hope this footage will inspire zoologists to study the behavior of this odd couple. More is being discovered about their social behavior we know they are not as solitary as we thought before. But time is running out for this species in Pakistan. In a study funded by the IUCN, striped hyenas were classified as critically endangered in 2003. Humans have persecuted hyenas for thousands of years. But for now, it seems that the hyenas are happy to share their den with an Indian desert cat. Just as the people of Thar Parker have tolerated this family of hyenas in their landscape, this gives us a reason to hope for the best. <laughs>